What's up guys? The past couple of weeks I've just been racking my brain, flipping through magazines, checking out the internet, just trying to find a specific rod that I've been wanting to add to my arsenal for a while. And I just haven't quite found the right one and I found some that are close but every time I do they're insanely expensive, like $100, $200, you know, for a for a custom built uh, ice rod. And I know it's a fairly specialized piece of gear that's, you know, for bigger fish. It's not just your standard noodle rod or anything like that. So I've just been trying to figure out how I'm gonna get this in my arsenal without blowing the bank because it's insane how much some of this equipment's going for right now. And, and I know I'm just gonna ultimately chuck it into my sled and it'll probably end up broken anyway. So, so if you're super tough on equipment like me, you've probably been in the same place. And I came up with an awesome solution I think some other people are gonna think are pretty cool. So before you ask, no, I I didn't exactly find what I was looking for, but I thought about it and uh, and I decided, why don't I just build one? So this is my current favorite setup right here. This is a 45 inch medium heavy hot rod. If you haven't checked these out, this is one badass rod. I feel like this is definitely top of the line right here. Uh, I have a couple of them, but bottom line is they don't exactly just give them away. So I wanted to have something, whoa. I wanted something comparable to this without blowing the budget, but for this build, instead of a bait caster, I wanted to go with the spinning rod. So, I wanted to find a blank that was fairly comparable to this. I mean, maybe not this quality. Like I said, these rods are freaking sweet, but something that I can use that I can just bang around and uh, just see how it goes. So, I'll show you exactly what I did. First, I went through the rods I already had and figured out exactly what I wanted. Second was to go online and find a cheap way to build this thing. I went to my favorite website that sells rod building supplies. Didn't take long and boom, found exactly what I was looking for. When it comes to the rest of the components of the rod, I didn't want to have to buy everything. So, I had this great idea. I heard that one of the Gander Outdoor stores near my house was going out of business. Went to the fishing area and saw exactly what I was looking for. These are the rod handles they use on the reel displays so you can check out the reels. And they put this piece of metal in the end, but it's just glued in. So all you have to do Bingo. So scored this pretty sweet spinning rod handle. Uh, it's all cork, nice reel seat on there. Got like seven or eight handles, a couple bait casters too. And uh, yeah, just went up to the man and was like, uh, you guys care if I take some of these? You're going out of business anyway. And he was like, I'm not really sure why I'd want those anyway, but uh, knock yourself out. So grabbed a bunch of them, got out of there. Uh, but yeah, pretty sweet. It's from a Fenwick rod, but uh, not for long. All right, so I got the blank 39 inch solid fiberglass, medium action. And first thing I did was just laid it out with the handle, wrapped some painter's tape around here just to fill the gap because it was just a little bit smaller than the hole that was in this. Hoping to get about a 42 inch rod out of it. And uh, as you can see, we are right there. All right, so now that I got the blank in the rod handle, just wrapped that tape on there like you saw, just made some, I don't know, I'm just calling them lugs, but just something that's gonna hold that glue a little bit. Get this all set up in there. I'm gonna use this five minute epoxy because uh, that's the duct tape glue right there. All right guys, here it is, finished. I uh, I kind of left off in the middle of that, but uh, I was waiting for the last bit of epoxy to cure and fell asleep, so anyway, I decided just to try it out. So I'm out here on the ice right now. It's the afternoon, um, just gonna see if we get a little afternoon flurry. There's like two hours left of uh, light, but we'll see what happens. Uh, I just set out some tables while I was getting everything ready to go, but I'm gonna pull this one, get this rod set up in an iFish Pro, and uh, see if we can get it done on the, uh, the new rod. So, turned out pretty sweet actually. See what happens. See, you, uh, see if this can handle a big old, big old slime. Gun. So I'm gonna set an iFish Pro up. Uh, this is kind of exactly what I designed this rod for. But uh, I mean, I'll use this probably for jigging and other stuff too. But this so far has been my favorite thing for catching pike right here. So I don't know if you used one of these before, but it's basically a tip up. You can just put whatever rod you want in but I'm hoping that this is gonna be stout enough to crack a nice big pipe. So let me get this set up, get a nice big sucker minnow on it, see what happens. All 
right, let's do it. All missed. Clean mess. All right, swing and a miss on that one. Let's get this other one in. <laughs> all right, we're finally all set up. We got two of us here, so we got four lines out, uh, two tip ups a piece. We each got one iFish Pro in. Got that new rod set up in an iFish Pro down here. That's kind of our longest one, so if it pops, it's going to be a pretty long run, but we'll see what happens. While we were setting up, we got two flags. One was just a dink little pike. The other one didn't hook up, so we don't know what it was, but we had a little bit of action right away, so we'll see. We got we an hour and a half left uh, before the sun sets, and I think we're going to ride it out till dark, just see what happens. Hopefully, we get a, get a big bite, seal the day up. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking that uh, we're probably just waiting for a good run to get going here, these big fish. They're going to chew. They always do. Somewhere along. Tip up, high fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, here. All right. See? It's not moving right now. Got him. Oh, yeah. Doesn't feel that. Oh, another little guy. Okay, just a little guy, but uh, first one on the new rod, so pretty cool. Let's see. Hopefully, we get a bigger bite. Whew. Winded from that. We got to put these closer next time. But there we go. Just a snaker. Get him back. <laughs> Sweet. All right, so far the new rod has caught one fish and uh, worked pretty good. So we'll see what happens when we actually hook into one with some weight. But the rod loaded up, didn't break, both good thing. I heard it. All right, we got one going again. The other iFish Pro just fired off. How's it looking? He's running hard. Let him have it. Let's see what we got. All right, well, the sun officially has set. Um, we've been running like crazy pretty much the whole time. It just seems like we get nonstop flags and we catch some of them. Some of them are just like they run off some line and that's it. But you can see we got one trail two trails, three trails, four trails. So we've pretty much just been uh, laying down as many trails running to all these tips as possible. But we're still hopeful we're gonna get that big bite. I think we're gonna, we got like maybe 30 minutes and it's gonna be black out here. We probably could stay, but we don't have lights on any of these tip ups, so they're gonna be really hard to see once it gets dark. But it was worth it, we came out, caught some fish. Pretty stoked I got one on that new rod. It's not over yet though, stick with us, I think we can get. All right guys, it's getting pretty dark now, but uh, I think we're gonna wrap things up, kinda get packed up. We haven't had a bite in maybe about an hour, so it's definitely dark now. And, you know, I don't know, I think they still bite into the dark, but usually you get that really good run right at sunset, and then we definitely did, so. This bite's just starting to crank up. Uh, probably about a month, it's gonna be absolutely on fire, and I'm pretty hyped for that. Even if we get an early ice out, we'll be down here catching them. So, I think we're just gonna pack things up, get out of here, and uh, make a game plan for another day. So, thanks for watching. See ya.